Hi everybody, this is Tracy Bookman, owner of Homestead Roofing, and recently we've done a couple videos about denied claims and what to do if you have a claim that's been denied but yet you have valid damage on the roof. And we talked about just calling in for a reinspection. Well, today on this uh, cabin behind me, we want to talk about a dubious denial of an insurance claim. So very briefly, the history on this was uh, we got called on this, uh, boy, last spring, came out in May, took a look at it, and there was damage on it. And there was insurable damage on it. At the time, it had a shingle roof on it, asphalt shingle roof, and it did have some hail damage. However, the damage was not... Um, it wasn't significant. Although it was insurable damage, it just didn't seem that significant to file a claim for um, and have the owner end up with a, a, a claim on his record and having to pay a deductible payment. So we advised the owner at that time, yes, you have damage. Let's keep an eye on it. Check it regularly once a year or something like that just to make sure that there's uh, nothing that is happening that's going to cause you a problem in the future. Well then, uh, in the fall, this homeowner got a notice from the insurance company saying that they were going to uh, either double his insurance premium or they were going to cancel his insurance. He didn't want to pay twice the amount for his insurance and so he uh, shopped around to get new insurance. Well, since there was hail damage and he had to disclose that, he couldn't get new insurance on this cabin. So at that time, uh, we conferred and decided that the best approach would be to go ahead and file a claim with the insurance company that he had at the time that the hail damage occurred, which would have been uh, summer of 2018. So remember, this homeowner did have insurable hail damage on this cabin back in May. So now the insurance company was going to drop him or double his insurance payment not because there was hail damage but just because they were increasing the rates uh, and basically they wanted to get rid of this customer. He shopped around, couldn't find insurance that would cover him because there was existing hail damage so he filed a claim. The adjuster came out, looked at the roof and said he agreed that there was insurable damage on the back slopes, but denied uh, coverage for the damage that was on the front slopes. Now, there was damage on both sides of this cabin. So the fact that the adjuster was denying coverage for the front slopes was a disservice to this homeowner who was insured with that company. So uh, I came back out and did a video showing exactly what was wrong with the adjuster's inspection. Now an adjuster is supposed to draw a square that's 10 foot by 10 foot on every major slope and then he's supposed to count the number of hail hits inside that square. It's supposed to be 10 feet by 10 feet, 100 square feet. Well, this adjuster had drawn out a square that was eight and a half feet by eight and a half feet, so less than 80 square feet, said there was zero hail dents inside that square. So when I came up, not only did I demonstrate, I, I mean, I actually videotaped me measuring his square to show that it was not the right size, and then showed that if he had drawn his square the correct size, he would have picked up at least seven more hail hits just below his square, but I also counted seven to eight hail hits inside his square, showed that on video, which the homeowner then sent to the insurance company. The adjuster came back out and said, yes, he was mistaken, and he accepted the claim for the whole roof. So it doubled the amount of payment from the insurance company to the homeowner to replace his roof. So the point of this is not to say, hey, we at Homestead Roofing did something amazing and got this homeowner a total claim 
um, when he wasn't due a total claim. The point of this is that insurance adjusters are human. They make mistakes. And if you're a homeowner and you've had a denied claim on your property that is actually damaged by a storm, then you deserve your insurance company to pay to repair what has been damaged. You don't have to accept what the adjuster says, especially if he's wrong. Now, if there is no damage, and maybe your contractor is just trying to roll the dice and see if uh, he'll get an accepted claim, or he's throwing spaghetti against the wall to see what sticks, then you've got no right to expect that your insurance company is going to take care of you. But if you have valid damage, you don't need to simply just lay down and accept what your insurance company is telling you. So if you've got questions, especially if you've gone through this process and your insurance company is, you think, not doing right by you, please give us a call at our office right up here, 719-433-6991. You can also visit our website right down here, homesteadroofingcolorado.com. We've got a ton of information out there, lots of other videos to help you as a homeowner know how to navigate this whole insurance claim process thing. I'm Tracy Bookman, owner of Homestead Roofing.